Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Chris Winter and today I'm gonna to do an in-depth review of the brand new Canon T6i or 750D if you're outside of America. Now this is the new model of the very popular T5i and comes with a number of features that I've gotta say that I've been very impressed with, including an upgraded sensor and a very nice new hybrid autofocus system. Now to celebrate reaching 5,000 subscribers here on YouTube, I'm actually gonna be giving away either a Canon T6i or a T6s, pretty much your choice. So all you need to do to enter is to be a subscriber. So if you're not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now I'd just like to say a big thanks to the guys over at Shutterhub for letting me rent out this Canon T6i for my review. You guys have been fantastic. But anyway, let's take a look at this brand new camera. Now the T6i is actually really quite similar to the T5i and that's a good thing. Now I've found over the years that the Rebel series of cameras have really improved in features while still keeping that nice small form factor. It's actually quite shocking just how light this camera is, especially if you pair it up with something like the Canon 18-55 STM. Now one of the best features of the T6i, and something that I'd really like to see move over to professional Canon cameras, is this articulating touchscreen. It is absolutely fantastic. And paired up with the T6i's new hybrid autofocus system, this has really sped up my workflow. Now let's quickly talk about the menu systems here on the T6i. Now this has always been one of the strong points of the Rebel series of cameras. The menus, although they're relatively basic compared to professional models like the 5D and the 7D, are really quite easy to navigate and clearly set out, and that's something that I think beginners will really appreciate. And now that we've got this fantastic touchscreen on the camera, it's just so easy to change your settings on the fly. Now one thing I have noticed unfortunately is that this touchscreen really does attract fingerprints like crazy, so it is sometimes nice to use the, uh, the old dials on the back of this camera. Hey guys, if you haven't seen it yet, make sure to go check out my top 10 list of the best lenses for the Canon T6i. I go into quite a lot of detail and kind of tell you which ones are the best and why, and I think you'll be quite surprised at what lens came out on top. So there'll be a link in the description, go check it out and tell me which lens you'd like to get. Now speaking of the touchscreen, I've got to say I've been very impressed with the T6i's touchscreen. In, in fact, it's probably as good as the Canon 70D's, which is the model above it, and it's been very, very impressive. And one of my favorite features of the Canon 70D, which I've been using for a couple of years now, has been using the touchscreen to pull focus during video. And the Canon T6i has really stepped up its game and is almost as good as this. What I love about it though, is that you really don't have to press down too hard on the screen to select your autofocus point. It's very similar to using a smartphone like an iPhone, which means that you won't get any camera shake when pulling focus on the fly. Now let's talk about autofocus on this T6i, specifically for stills. Now, Rebel cameras have never really been known for being the fastest autofocusing cameras, and of course they are kind of a budget line, but I think it's all gonna change with this new T6i. Whereas the T5i only had nine autofocus points, the T6i has bumped up to a pretty impressive 19 autofocus points, and I've gotta say, it really shows. This is the same phase detection autofocus system as the Canon 70D, and I've found it to be a really snappy system. So paired up with these new STM lenses like this one here, this is the 18 to 55 kit lens. This can actually be a pretty quick and quiet autofocusing camera. So what I'm gonna do right now is do a quick test for you to uh, focus on these vintage cameras right here. So what we'll do is listen out for that confirmation beep and hear just how quick it is to focus. So as you can hear, there's almost no delay. It's very, very quick. And it doesn't seem to be having any problems with any hunting. I think those 19 autofocus points are really, really improving this camera. And I've got to say, I'm very impressed with that. Hey guys, as always, if you're enjoying this video, I'd love it if you leave a thumbs up because that's always appreciated. But anyway, let's get on to the next part of the video. Now I've been using the Rebel series of cameras for video work ever since the T2i came out, maybe four or five years ago. And it still produces some really, really nice video footage. Now, although it's not 4K, the T6i does produce very film-like footage and paired up with a lens like the Sigma 30mm f1.4, you can really get some lovely bokeh. Another small but, you know, kind of cool feature that I like is having a dedicated switch to jump into video mode. I know it's not a big deal, but it's little things like this that make the camera a real pleasure to shoot with. Of course, one of the big new features of this camera is its new hybrid autofocusing system. And it was something that I was definitely keen to test out because I've been using the Canon 70D, which has a dual pixel autofocus system. I wanted to see just how good this was. And I've got to say, it's really good. Now, is it as good as the Canon 70D? Uh, well, no, it's not, but it's not far off. It pulls focus very smoothly and gone are the days of focus hunting, which is good. 
The only downside is that it's a little bit slower to lock onto this, uh, your subject than the 70D, but honestly, it is a massive improvement and I'm very, very excited to use this for video work. So there you go, guys. That was my review of the Canon T6i. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as you can see on the screen, I've actually made a few different videos on the Canon T6i and the T6s, some uh, video tests, some autofocus tests, lots of different things. So if you want to check them out, all you need to do is click the links on the screen and that will take you to the video. And also make sure to check out the top 10 list of uh, best lenses for the Canon T6i that I made because I'm sure that you'll get something out of it and it'll be interesting to see what comes out on top. Okay, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.